Oh no, not another Benchy video. Yes, another one. Always faster, but this one will not be part of the competition, unfortunately, because I cheated. Yes, you heard me right, I cheated. So the video you're about to see contains a Benchy that was printed using servo motors. I have installed ClearPath uh, servo motors from Technique and um, they are fantastic. I simply love them. They've been quite a challenge to set up, uh, both mechanically and to tune them up, but right now I have to say I'm super satisfied. There are a few downsides, but uh, I believe that the advantages are overcoming those uh, shortfalls. I will um, talk to you into another video all about that, about how to set them up, about uh, how mechanically I've uh, organized the machine, to make sure that they can support the machine can support the uh, pretty strong acceleration of those uh, those motors and speed as well and uh, you'll, you'll see more about that but today benchy time another attempt at benchy time um, quality is acceptable to me considering the time so you'll see the time at the end of this video but uh, perhaps what i've been using in this video was a few more tricks um, I thought while being an outlaw, outlaw and using servo motors might as well try a few other things. I've been using shop air uh, with the garage compressor hooked up to my bird air system directly. So using 60 psi and blowing into my 4 um, inside uh, internal diameter uh, tube provided pretty good cooling and actually I think that this is something that I'll investigate a bit more because it, uh, it provides very good cooling and overhangs and bridges uh, I mean I'm super impressed with uh, with how it works I have now a four pipes um, bird air duct that creates some kind of some kind of a cooling carpet underneath the hot end so while that carpet is not directly aiming at the nozzle, at the output of the nozzle, the material remains fully, uh, fully molten and unaltered until it touched down and then after that I'm cooling it with uh, that little uh, cooling carpet. So a few challenges on that benchy uh, for today. Uh, the haul is is quite uh, quite good. Uh, speed is only 300 millimeter per second all around. 300 millimeter per second doesn't sound a lot, but using 100k acceleration, it only takes 0.45 millimeter to reach the 300 millimeter per second uh, speed. I think the biggest challenge I have right now with this Benchy is uh, the, the columns, the head, the cabin columns, as you see, are a bit uh, messed up. And I believe this is due to the uh, 5 to 1 ratio of the extruder and that small uh, NEMA 14. Um, I think we're lacking speed right now of extruder and the, uh, the reaction is, is not enough. So I was using 0.4 millimeter ex uh, retraction with a 0.005. Uh, pressure advance and no matter what setting I've used on those two values I, I kept having those uh, the columns the way they look right now One of the most impressive characteristic of the servos is that you can go at speeds, insane speeds. And I'm using that speed right now for travel moves. Um, travel moves are being done at 1,000 millimeter per second. I've tried a, I've tried them up to 1,500 millimeter per second, and they just keep up. They just uh, they'll turn. They'll take whatever load you you, you put on them. And if you notice um, on this video, you can see that I've moved back to an MGN12 rail full weight with 2020 aluminum profile on the X axis. So considerable amount of weight was added to my setup. 
uh, to fit that uh, HD configuration of the Avort to support the uh, 12 millimeter belt. So as I mentioned into the introduction, um, I'm preparing a video on the servo motors. Um, I'm going to show you what they're capable of. Those are industrial machine and uh, they are really, really strong. It is hard to understand until you play with them how strong they are. But just to give you some, some sense of it, as I was uh, tuning them with the help of the technician at Technique, um, he told me, looking at the numbers from my motors while printing at 150k uh, acceleration, that I was only using 15, 10 to 15% of the available torque from those motors. So you can understand that this is uh, some serious stuff. You can easily lose a finger if, if you get it snapped in between parts and, you know, those are not toys. They're really... As I said, industrial machines, so they are to be uh, taken seriously. So in that video, I will explain how to set them up, what to watch, uh, how to make sure your machine can support them um, electronically and mechanically, and uh, we'll do it. We'll have a bit of fun with them, uh, showing you uh, what they're capable of. Until then, I wish you to stay safe. Have fun and happy printing.